Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the sci-fi movie Kiss Through the Wall, released in the year 2011. The movie title may be lame, but the movie is good. The main character is a magician's assistant named Kesha. He performs an illusion called Through the Wall with his uncle. He lives in a rented apartment with his best friend. His landlord urges him to pay rent from time to time. Sometimes he's scolded by his uncle for not performing well. His life is quite miserable. Just as he thought his life wasn't going to get any better, one day after the show, he met a beautiful reporter named Alyssa who was interviewing his uncle. Kesha was completely stunned by her beauty. But because he was too clumsy, he was kicked out of the trailer by his uncle. Alyssa tried to approach Kesha to learn more about the illusion through walls so she could write an article about it. One day, when the two were performing, Alyssa and her boyfriend came to watch the show together. Kesha was disappointed, as if he had fallen from heaven to hell. He was distracted, and so he underperformed. During the show, his uncle invited Alyssa to perform cutting magic, and her boyfriend requested to let him do it. Kesha's eyes were full of jealousy, and he almost cut her boyfriend. Later on, he was fired by his uncle for causing chaos in the show. Kesha doesn't care if Alyssa has a boyfriend, he tried his best to get her. He thinks if he were rich and good-looking, he would have a chance, but unfortunately, he is not. Afterwards, he secretly followed the two and found out their whereabouts. But it was a luxury apartment with strict security and access codes. How could he get in? Depressed, Kesha begins smoking outside the door. A homeless man happened to light him a cigarette and asked him if he could lend him $20 and if he could, he'd grant him any wish. Kesha was very sad at this time. He didn't care what the homeless man said, thinking he was joking. He gave the homeless man $20. But after getting the money, the homeless man disappeared, which baffled Kesha. He got up and magically walked through the door. The scene then shifts to the next morning when he's woken up by his uncle's call. Although he was fired by his uncle, there was no one to help him and he couldn't handle a lot of things on his own. Kesha woke up confused and foggy and didn't notice a large amount of cash on the floor, nor did he realize that he was walking through the door. At this time, the news reported that a bank had been robbed and there was no sign of a break-in. Then he remembered what happened last night. He figured out that he walked through the door last night and at first he thought he must have been dreaming. He even tried hitting himself with a brick, only to find out that he could walk through the wall with a touch of his hand or body. He accidentally came into the room of a child who appeared to be sick on the bed. The boy said he was going to be an astronaut. He was curious about how Kesha came in, but the goal of Kesha was to ask for the whereabouts of Alyssa. He finally discovered that she was upstairs, so he planned to go upstairs with his superpowers and happened to meet three people who were composing music. Then, on another level, he met three people who were trying to communicate with spirits through psychic rituals. Kesha came in through the wall and asked which floor he was on. Then, he went through the wall, terrifying the three of them. Finally, he came to the floor where Alyssa was. At this time, Alyssa was undressing and was about to make out with her boyfriend. Kesha disturbed them by making noises from outside the room. He turned into a wall painting to scare her boyfriend. Apart from this, he went to the bank the day before and took out a large amount of money. Otherwise, how would there be money for the landlord today? His life changed after possessing a superpower. He got himself an Audi, but he was stopped by a policeman on the road. He hid under the car and pranked the officer. It seems that after ordinary people have superpowers, they really do whatever they want. Of course, he also pranked his uncle and fired him. After all, his uncle was not very good to him. Unfortunately, the bank robbery came to light. But how was it exposed? Because he left a note in the bank. He wrote on the note that he took the money and his home address was made public. The person in charge came to him. Normally, there's no way to escape, but with his superpowers, escape was easy. At this time, the landlord came. His best friend said the house is in disrepair. He smelled gas, but the landlord insisted the house would last a few more years without any problems. When she turned on the gas stove, there was an explosion. 
If it weren't for the superpower of Kesha, they would probably have died in the explosion. After the place burned down, they moved to a larger house. His best friend brought home a lot of homeless people. Kesha now has a chance to meet other girls. He has some fun and wanted to make out with the girl, but when he took off his socks, he fell all the way down the building. Finally, he stopped on a cement bag. I wonder what would have happened if he kept falling. It'd be very interesting to see. The person in charge of the bank was also rescued from the explosion by Kesha. They protected him from getting in trouble with the robbery. As for the stolen money, they handed it over to the insurance company. His troubles were finally over, so he went to see Alyssa. When he arrived, Kesha saw that she was arguing with her boyfriend. Kesha then becomes trapped in the wall eavesdropping. He also learns what relationship and lover Alyssa desires, as well as the ideal car of her lover. This gave him some ideas. Does this mean that as long as he does what Alyssa said, he can win her over? But I wonder if he only uses his superpower to flirt with girls. The homeless man granted him superpowers to do good deeds, but he uses his superpowers to flirt with girls. He goes to buy flowers and a Porsche. The next day, he was waiting for Alyssa, and to her surprise, he knelt on the ground and confessed to her. It happened that Alyssa got into his car because she was late for work. Because of being late, her boss did not accept her report, and she was scolded by him. He expected breaking news, but she wrote an article about children with leukemia, and Kesha saw it all. He came directly through the wall, and the boss saw him among the leaders of the country and knelt down in fear. While the employees were confused, Alyssa was assigned to an interview at the World Economic Summit. Alyssa gave him $200 to give her a ride there. After arriving at her destination, she entered the building with a press pass. Fortunately, Kesha has the ability to walk through walls and disappeared in the blink of an eye. He followed Alyssa at the event. She managed to get a photo with the Prime Minister of Iceland, and she also got the opportunity of an exclusive interview. She was overjoyed and kissed Kesha. He was flattered by the sudden kiss of his dream girl. Then, just when he thought he had a chance, she rejected him harshly, telling him that he did not impress her. He was very depressed. In my opinion, I think he's a jerk for going after someone's girlfriend. I find it weird to do that. In order to get close to her, he secretly came to the newspaper office and touched her across the wall. He wanted to kiss her secretly. Unexpectedly, a male colleague stood there and suddenly felt that he was hit by something. Because of his involvement, Alyssa's boss offered her the position. Alyssa once said in the car that she was confident that her article would one day be appreciated by readers. She's confident that she'll become the editor-in-chief, so Kesha wants to help her. But unfortunately, although he did his best to please her, her heart still seems to be on her boyfriend, which broke Kesha's heart. Sadly, he can only chat with the sick boy. He learned that the child's mother wanted to make $150,000 to take him to space. He didn't take the kid's joke seriously, but came to Alyssa's room again. Alyssa and her boyfriend were already asleep. She saw him through the wall and thought she was dreaming. Since she thought it was a dream, he took her over the wall, jumped on the train, and jumped into the carriage. This scene is magical and my favorite. Unfortunately, Alyssa still didn't want to be with Kesha. He was angry and was about to challenge her boyfriend, but was beaten badly by him. Even so, he tried to get as close to Alyssa as possible to get to know her. There's nothing wrong with liking someone or even loving someone, but if you like someone just because of their appearance and don't even understand them, isn't this kind of love a little superficial? As his understanding deepened, he found that he fell in love with her fiercely and even stood outside the window of a high-rise building trying to win her over. To be honest, I'm not impressed with his actions to pursue her. That's like when you try to woo someone and a bunch of people nearby disapprove because the girl clearly doesn't like you. She doesn't think you deserve her affection, so it's not good to try to force her to accept you in front of everyone. Finally, he fell from a tall building. If it wasn't for his ability to penetrate walls, he would have fallen to his death long ago. Also, because of the fall, Alyssa fainted and was taken to the hospital. He also went to the hospital to check his head for fear of it being broken, but unexpectedly saw the sick child, who turned out to be a boy. 
he found out that the girl needed $100,000 to treat her leukemia. The child naively said that she had made $50. He realized that he may have more important things to do than use his superpowers to chase a girl. So he gave all the money to the children. Alyssa learned of his kindness from the child. Perhaps for such a kind girl, being rich and beautiful is not important to her. The important thing is that he has a good heart. She was moved by his kindness and rushed out of the hospital to kiss him. Would her ex-boyfriend be a little embarrassed now? And the superpower of Kesha was also taken away by the homeless man because he got what he wanted most. The homeless man is still looking for someone to borrow money from. That will be another interesting story. For me, the stories in Russian sci-fi romances in general are exaggerated. For example, in the movie of No Perfect Man, everyone can customize their ideal lover. But it's a comedy after all, and overall, it's a good movie. All we need to do is let the people we like discover our strengths. If you can impress her, maybe others can too. Only by admiring and appreciating each other may we live happy lives. That's the end of the video. See you next time.